What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Young Dub, coming at y'all with another video here, man. Uh, just doing another update for the channel because why the hell not? Uh, I know on the previous video that I put on here, I dropped that bombshell uh, that we had the 2021 project, man. And um, I got around to the point to where I started getting things installed and uh, was not happy with the results that I was getting, was not feeling the sound. Uh, so I went ahead and scrapped that project. Uh, so we're on and up to a new one. Uh, so the 2021 project has become a mids and highs type of deal. Uh, so maybe I'll get some stuff done. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get to this unboxing here. This is another one of those uh, deals uh, where I kept telling y'all, hey, man, I have stuff laying around. Uh, I should have gotten to it a long time ago. But uh, like I said, man, when you're working crazy hours, man, it kind of takes a little bit of your motivation away as far as uh, trying to squeeze in some sleep <laughs> to make sure that you don't harm anybody, you don't harm yourself and all that, man. So let's go ahead and get this box cut open. Uh, luckily, there was a little hole right there, so y'all should be able to see what's in there, but let's go ahead and make her all the way good to go. <laughs> so you can see, it's some DS18 product in it. You already see we like it loud, hopefully, right there. Uh, but let me do my due diligence of getting that open. So boom, so there we are. All right, let me pull this up out of this plastic. Uh, oh, crap. <laughs> so like I said, man, this stuff has been sitting around for quite a while. Um, hopefully I didn't, you know, I, didn't, I guess I should say that to myself, uh, cause like I said, sometimes I go back and watch these videos myself. Um, I get to get ordering this stuff and letting it sit around for like weeks and, um, you know, I'll get around to unboxing and eventually and obviously doing a video on it here. Uh, but the problem with letting this stuff sit around is deals like this, uh, where you get the equipment that's coming in all bashed up. Uh, so before we get to that point, let's just make a point of what we got here. This is your DS18 Pro TW320.8. Uh, so these are the 8 ohm versions. Uh, they used to only come in 4 ohm. Uh, so now we got the 8 ohm versions here, man. But you see it, man. Obviously, uh, 250 watts uh, RMS, 8 ohm, 1.5 inch voice coil. Uh, but like I said, we got some damage down here, so. Let's pop that top and make sure that our product is good to go, even though it, it more than likely is. Um, this is a super tweeter, man. So any damage that she's occurred, she probably was able to take it with a smile on her face. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so she looks like she's perfectly uh, good to go here. She's perfectly fine. Uh, so like I said, man, these are the DS18 um, Pro TW320.8s. Uh, so like I said, they used to only come in a four ohm version. Uh, now they got the point eight where you can get it in an eight ohm. Uh, but you see it there, obviously 500 watts max, who cares about that? Eight ohm is what I cared about. And then the 1.5 inch voice coil. Uh, let's get the manual out and take a look. <laughs> the manual didn't make it, but it's paper. You know, it's, it's uh, obviously something we can download on the website. But there you go, man. So impedance, eight ohms, power handling, 250 watts RMS. Uh, so that's the part that I care about. Uh, frequency range, 1.6. Uh, I'm definitely gonna play them a lot higher than that. But let's open this up. So it gives you your cutout and your mounting depth. And once again, just your parameters as far as eight ohms, uh, 250 watts RMS, uh, sensitivity is 107. DB's definitely uh, going to be utilizing that. Uh, recommended high pass crossover is 2,000 hertz. Um, and that's the thing always, I know, I we understand it. Uh, they say it's capable of playing down to 1.6. Obviously, it could probably do that. Uh, but then they give you the recommended high pass crossover. It's 2K. Obviously, I'm going to cross it over a whole heck of a lot higher than that. Uh, but... Let's get to the second one since we got it here. This box appears to be perfectly fine. A little gash there, but nothing too rough. Some good old DS-18 stuff here and then just more of the same. So 
Uh, let's pop the top on this one, make sure she's good to go. All right, so obviously, now if you're watching this, you know these are some super tweeters. Um, is that the right, as a matter of fact, let me pull this one up. Super tweeter with the bullet. There's your bullet, there's your super tweeter, man. So, um, I believe last year I did an unboxing on the TW420s, uh, which were massive, uh, quite a bit bigger than these, but do not get me wrong, these things were not small by any imagination. Um, 250 watts, I mean, right here you're looking at a pair, a total of 500 watts RMS, uh, worth the tweeter in front of your eyes here, man. So, um, anytime you start talking about 500 watts RMS at those frequencies, somebody's ears are gonna be bleeding, man. <laughs> a bleeding, let's say bleeding, like Dean said, over at uh, Five Star Car Stereo, man. So, um, everything in this one, uh, this box came, you know, appears to be fine. Uh, she does have that base block on there. Other one has it as well. Uh, so, just doing a quick little unboxing for the channel, man. Like I said, um, unfortunately, yes, I did drop the bombshell on a previous video. Uh, as far as me saying, hey, man, you know, I'm to the point to where uh, the budget bill became one of the hardest bills uh, for me to do, man. It's crazy how, for lack of better terms, when you just flush some money into something, uh, comes together quite easy and when you're trying to pull the or tighten the wallet up uh, it made it that much harder for me to get that stuff done man so um now that i look back up on that i probably should have instead of like running skull or anything like that i probably should have went with uh like rockford false gator or something like like i i know a buddy a uh, buddy of mine had back in the day had some p215s man those things went crazy and i think he had them on like a rockford um false gate punch 1000 or something like that man whatever it was uh he had them in the suburban went absolutely bonkers and uh sounded amazing man so i probably should have went with well-known brands uh, as far as trying to keep it down in that price range man but it is what it is um right now like i said unfortunately the 2021 build has become the 2022 build uh, i'm gonna take my time uh like i said shout out to my man julius washington uh, shout out to EXO. Um, like I said, I'm just going to take a, a page out of their books, take my time, uh, hopefully maybe give y'all videos when I can, uh, as far as like, you know, to start working on my new system and things like that, man. So, um, I still got plenty more stuff to do back there. You see, um, the DS18 Pro DR2 drivers, um, as like I said, as far as the Mizza highs, the 2021 build has become a Mizza high type of thing, man. So we got... These here, those horns, uh, so, still got this. Um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I think when I bought these Super Twitters, I was gonna run them on this um, Banda. Uh, granted, like I said, this is 500 watts worth of tweeter and that's only 250 watts, but I believe when I said I was, because y'all know initially I was gonna put PRV uh, the PRV TW 700s, I think. I can't remember. Don't don't quote me on that. Those were uh, those super tweeters I was gonna put on this Banda and run them on that route. But now since we got this, uh, I think I still I'm still gonna run them on that. I don't quote. I we might have to get some a little bit more powerful than that. Like I said, we got 500 watts worth of tweeter here, so we'll figure that out. Uh, and then also, like I said, back there. Uh, you can clearly see the horn right here where my hand's at. That one right, you got that one right there and that one right there. Um, got a total of four of those that are gonna be going on a JP234. Uh, so like I said, man, we're gonna get the screaming and <laughs> I know y'all are anxious uh, to see me break down this uh, headway cell battery, man. So uh, maybe a video or two from now, I'll break that down. Uh, we'll hit that with the multimeter, make sure all the cells are reading the same, and uh, we'll go from there, man. So just doing a quick little up, update on the channel uh, because I got to moving some stuff around. Uh, since some things are going out the door, some things are just going to be laying around for a while. Uh, like I said, I got a big table here, so I decided to get some stuff moved around so I could do videos without having to shift all over the place and um, having to be down in this lab for hours upon hours before I... You know was able to hit the record button man so 
stick around. Um, yes, I put pull something else out. This is going to be on a giveaway. Uh, so y'all make sure y'all stick around this channel, man. Like I said, hopefully uh, we'll get this going soon. Uh, we still got all that other stuff for the other giveaway. I'm going to figure it out tomorrow. Uh, so just stick around with me for a little while, man. I'll get down with the pen and pad and we'll go from there, man. So y'all know the deal, man. It's your boy Young Dub. Any questions, comments, concerns, hit me up. I'm going to get back to you. I promise. I'm out of here. Peace. Hey everybody, it's your boy Young Dub, man. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. Just remember those thumbs are appreciated, man. Hit that like button and it's still 2021. If your mirrors ain't shaking, damn it, you got taken.